Hi, I'm Abby and welcome back to Extra Time. And in this episode, we will be talking about all of the cups. So we'll be taking a look back at our Champions League win, the Carabao Cup, the FA Cup, the FA Youth Cup, and then also looking ahead to the Derby. So obviously we've got to start with our Carabao Cup win at Wembley, three in a row. And uh, what a match it was actually. Villa put up a really, really good fight. It was really enjoyable to watch. And then obviously, so it was Sergio and then Rodri's header, which sealed it. They of course did get a goal back. So it was a little bit tense for like the final uh, few minutes of that. Uh, Claudio Bravo made an unreal save. A massive moment in the Carabao Cup final. We've got to talk about Phil as well, a man of the match performance from him. He got the assist for Sergio's goal and there's this clip and I actually can't stop watching it. Like Phil's touch is unreal. It's like it's a long, long ball from Zinchenko and it literally just like lands to his foot and just sticks onto his boot like a bit of Velcro or something. It's absolutely unreal. Um, so well-deserved man of the match award for him and how special as well like a city fan lifelong city fan you're playing for your team in the carabao cup final and then you get an assist and then you get a man of the match award like it's unreal the fa cup saw us head to hillsborough to play sheffield wednesday um i haven't actually been there before and i love going to new grounds especially like an old school ground like when we came up to it it sort of had like a bit of a goodison vibe to it but as far as the game goes, it was quite uneventful. Um, a little bit slow at times, but got the goal. Sergio, of course, again, that was his 20th FA Cup goal, which is like unreal. I think it's in like 22 games since it's just mad. Another stat, another record, another this, another that for Sergio, obviously. But speaking of the FA Cup, our under 18s have already played their quarterfinal in the FA Youth Cup um, and they won against Burnley. So they will now go into the semi-final where they'll either play Arsenal or Blackburn. Obviously last season we had that heartbreak with the penalties against Liverpool, um, but they are looking absolutely on fire at the moment. Uh, Gareth Taylor is doing an absolute top job. So hopefully edging closer to another final where we can get it in the bag this time. And since we're talking about all the cup competitions, I know it feels like about three years ago, but we have to talk and throw it back to, I mean, it was about, yeah, it was about just over a week ago that we played Madrid at the Bernabeu and won. It's just, um, that was my first time at the Bernabeu and the atmosphere and just the feel as soon as you walk into that stadium is just incredible. And the reaction to, I mean, our traveling fans, got to give a shout out to them. Uh, they were super, super loud as well. So obviously when we scored, so we had Gabriel Jesus scoring another really important goal for us. He is scoring some really, really vital goals at the moment for us. The referee has pointed to the penalty spot. What, I think it was like the four penalties before that had all been missed, saved, whatever. So you're already feeling, you're thinking, oh my gosh, at the Bernabeu on like the biggest stage. Kevin De Bruyne stood up. Well, straight in the back of the net, 2-1. It was, I can't tell, I was going absolutely mad in the press box. A load of Spanish journalists around me were giving me like proper evils, but oh well, it needed to be celebrated. Um, and it was just such an amazing occasion. And then obviously set us up very nicely for our Carabao Cup win. Uh, so what a week it's been. Another derby on the horizon. So at Old Trafford, as you know, I'm terrible at these score predictions. I never, ever get them right. Uh, but I'm, I can see United getting a goal, but I do think we will win because of just, I, the team are just fired up at the moment. These results, getting a trophy under our belts already after Madrid, through to quarterfinals of the FA Cup. So I'm thinking they're going to be confident. 2-1, <coughs> maybe. 2-1, I'm gonna go for that. Okay, so that's all from me, but we will be back this time next week for another edition of Extra Time. See ya.